So race 14 then is the Chris Dean Maiden. And this one is a three mile one furlong maiden hurdle. And the top one is Battle for Sparta. Joshua Sutherland, Executive Director, Paul Rhodes, King's College Boy, Graham Clutterbuck, Major Barris, Darren Thompson, Mighty Dev, Alex Cherry, Tomorrow's World, Daniel French, Watchdog, Kevin Minahan. Wreck It Ralph, Leon Van Rensburg, Bread and Butter, Derek Hinton, Excellent, Dan, Doug Warren, Jamaican Wright, Stu Gray, Moon Lake, Jim Murray, Ninia Bonita, A. Ojuilos, and now and then Martin Leadham. So 14 then in the rain. And away they go. And it better not rain too much at Worcester because it floods very easily. We might be going home early if it carries on like this. But Mighty Dev. He's the leader, but he's just about being overtaken by the mighty Dell. And it's Dell Hinton and his bread and butter that's taken the lead. So, bread and butter then, in the pink, goes off into the lead. With mighty Dev second, Battle for Sparta third, then Watchdog and Executive Director. Wreck It Ralph is just the back marker at the moment. The grey in the dark blue Leon Van Rensburg silks. But it's bread and butter who's putting the pace to the race. And three... Miles and a furlong, of course, only 14 hurdles to take, and over that one they go. And bread and butter, I'll try and keep this pace up for the whole way around. With Battle for Sparta second, Watchdog third and Moon Lake fourth, and excellent Dan after that one. Ricky Ralph is about three lengths adrift at this stage, but not a worrying situation, I wouldn't have thought just yet. And bread and butter. These Derek Hinton horses seem to like going off in the lead these days. And this one is no exception and is now five clear of Watchdog in second. A few old TV programmes, isn't we? Tomorrow's World and Watchdog. And Bread and Butter is in the lead. Well, that one excellent down on the wide outside of Watchdog. Then Battle of a Sparta and Mighty Dev, Executive Director and Moon Lake. King's College Boy is next, then now and then. Major Barris with Jamaican Rod. Wreck It Ralph has made some good ground up on the inside going the shortest way around with Tomorrow's World. Now just relegated really behind that one. That's another grey but a lighter blue colours. And Ninia Bonita is the back marker. Our new Spanish trainer. His first runners so far this season. Yesterday and today. And Bread and Butter is the leader from Excellent Down in second. Watchdog is third, and Mighty Dev is fourth. Moon Lake is after that one. Battle for Sparta, then now and then. Um, King's College Boy, Executive Director, and Wreck It Ralph. Jamaican Rod and Major Barris with finally Tomorrow's World and Ninia Bonita. And we've lost one there as a faller. Get that many fallers in the hurdles, but a Watchdog has gone. So, one's out of the race as they come down to the sixth. And they skip over that one with. The back three, tomorrow's will Jamaican ride and Nini and Bonita just struggling a little bit as they take the seventh. And Bread and Butter is the leader from Excellent down in second. Mighty Dev is third. King's College Boy on the wide outside is fourth. Now and then nearest to us is after that one in between the two. Battle for Sparta, Major Barris and Wreck-It Ralph are together. With Executive Director just between the two of them, I think. And a gap of about three lengths to the back three. Tomorrow's World Jamaican Rider Nidia Bonita. So past the winning post then with a the circuit to go. And Bread and Butter is the leader. And we're losing one at the back. Looks like Jamaican Ride has done its riding for the day. And he's about to go for a bit of a sit down. So that one's out then. And Bread and Butter is the leader. Excellent down is second. And Mighty Dev is third. Battle for Sparta and Moon Lake. Wreck It Ralph is next. King's College Boy and Major Barris. Now and then there's just dropped back a little bit. Uh, tomorrow's World and finally Ninia Bonita. So nothing's got close to this bread and butter yet then. It's been in the lead all the way and it's had an uncontested lead as well. With everybody happy to just trap from behind as they take number eight. And bread and butter could be giving a canny ride to win it from the front or it could just be a sitting duck for the rest of them we'll find out in the next mile or so and bread and butter in the lead over the ninth as we see them jumping away from us and they all gave that one plenty of air and got over it nicely 
and bread and butters lead is down to a couple of lengths now with Battle for Sparta looming ominously in second. Then Mighty Devon Wreck It Ralph, who's cruised through the field and appears to be going exceptionally well at this stage. But they've still got to get past this bread and butter, and bread and butter just about a length clear now of Wreck It Ralph as they take the next a good jump by the leader. Had a good half length in the air. Wreck It Ralph is going well in second though. Then Battle for Sparta. Major Barris is swinging around the outside. Then Executive Director and King's College Boy and Mighty Dev. And then Excellent Dan is just dropping back a bit. Another one that's now making good progress is Moon Lake. I think it's between them. I think the back three are out of it. But it's bread and butter in the lead now. Here comes Moon Lake sweeping around the outside. And it's Moon Lake who takes it up in those Jim Murray black and red colours. It's Moon Lake in the lead. Bread and butter sticking on in second. Wreck It Ralph is still there in third. Battle for Sparta is still fourth. Going around the outside. Executive Director's trying to get into it. Mighty Dev is still there. Major Barris is the next one to just drop off a little bit. And also now of it is King's College Boy but it's Moon Lake in the lead Moon Lake is the leader from Wreck It Ralph who's gone second executive director is third then comes Mighty Dev 4 over the sack third last they go and it's Moon Lake in the lead Moon Lake being pressed by Wreck It Ralph then Mighty Dev and executive director Major Barris is after that one getting a second wind also trying to run against his battle for Sparta that's the second last and it's Moon Lake and Wreck It Ralph Moon Lake by half a length Wreck It Ralph trying to fight back this is the final flight and over it they go and it was a better jump by Wreck It Ralph and Wreck It Ralph goes into the lead Wreck It Ralph by three parts of a length. Wreck It Ralph, Moon Lake's trying to fight back. Wreck It Ralph now, length clear. Up towards the final third on they go. And it's Wreck It Ralph, Moon Lake is in second. Then Executive Director of Major Barris. But it's going to be Wreck It Ralph. Wreck It Ralph looks like he's got enough in the tank to, to take this one. And up towards the line, Wreck It Ralph is going to win it. One last surge for Moon Lake, but doesn't quite get up. And it's Moon Lake in on the outside. Got mighty close in the end, you know. And <laughs> May just be my first big mistake of the season, that one, because it looked like he got it won, but right at the end, Moon Lake lunged and certainly a stride past the line. Moon Lake is in the lead. Now, that could well be a dead heat. Let's wait and see. It's a lot closer than it looked to start with. And it's a short head win for Wreck It Ralph for Leon Ram Rensburg. Moon Lake for Jim Murray, a very unlucky second. Major Barris for Darren Thompson is third. Executive Director Paul Rose fourth. And a brave run by Bread and Butter. Derek Hinton hanging on for fifth.